Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. You look toward the elevator up high, and you'll see where the amorphous voice is coming from. <laughs> Good evening. How are you this evening? Welcome to the 2017-18th season of the Notre Dame Shakespeare Festival. How exciting is that? 18, we're, we're, uh, we've reached our maturity now. We're no longer, we're no longer minus the 18th year. My name is Grant Mudge. It's my privilege to serve as the Ryan Family Producing Artistic Director for the Notre Dame Shakespeare Festival. And I'm going to continue to rotate my head this way and that so that I can get everybody in the room. A brief uh, bit of thanks and announcement uh, and then a toast before we get to, uh, into the theater to enjoy the show this evening. Tonight marks our annual return to Notre Dame, a gathering to see friends and to be among Notre Dame family and to kick off the academic year with Shakespeare. Of course, the Notre Dame Shakespeare Festival has been in full swing since about July 14th, and we've already had a very busy summer. We premiered Shakespeare After Hours this year, as well as a new community, uh, uh, community outreach program called Shakespeare in the Streets on the city's northwest side, and our touring company has traveled throughout northern Indiana and southwestern Michigan with Twelfth Night. You can see their final performance uh, this coming Monday, the Eclipse Day. Uh, it's the traditional night before first classes performance. It's on the lawn beside the Basilica uh, at 6.30, the main quadrangle. Uh, the nickname has been applied this year, uh, Shakespeare Under the Dome. Not a good joke. All right, we'll just go. <laughs> All right, so that nickname will now go away. That's now going to be known as Shakespeare Beside the Basilica. <laughs> <laughs> That's 12th night. It starts at 6.30 on the lawn. Bring a blanket, bring a picnic. Uh, it's a terrific night to reconnect with students and friends. Uh, I'd like to thank speaking students. I'd like to thank the Glenn Family Honors Program and the Glenn Family Honors Ambassadors here tonight, which are uh, helping us welcome our first year students. Could you all just raise your hands and, and we get to recognize the Glenn Family Ambassadors? Where are they? Where are they? Thanks, guys. If you are a first year student and have any questions about you know, this building or kicking off your year, seek out one of those folks this evening. But before I get to tonight's show, uh, I'd like to recognize the coordinating director of our Sheik Scenes weekend, uh, which is sort of the first kickoff event of the summer for the Notre Dame Shakespeare Festival, Christy Burgess. Uh, she doesn't know I'm going to do this. So, Christy is also the director of the Robinson Shakespeare Company at the Robinson Community Learning Center, which is about two blocks down. And this summer, uh, that other little RSC uh, became the very first troupe of actors ever to perform on the grounds of Shakespeare's home new place uh, in its new museum uh, and, and greeting uh, location in Stratford-upon-Avon. If you haven't uh, seen the photographs, you can certainly visit the Robinson, uh, Robinson Shakespeare Company uh, Facebook page and their web presence to see them. They're extraordinary. It was an incredible experience. They also went to the Globe Theatre in London. And in terms of Shakespeare happening in the summer, with, with affiliated with Notre Dame, that was the highlight of the summer. I've said it before, I will say it again, the RSC, this one, <laughs> is literally the single strongest Shakespeare education program I've encountered in more than two, two decades as an artistic director. Congratulations to Christy, so too to Scott Jackson, who also shepherded these young travelers. She's standing at the front of the uh, Performing Arts Center over there, ladies and gentlemen. Would you join me in a big round of applause for Christy Burgess? Mark here in Copenhagen, as Scott Jackson often shepherds this event uh, and was, uh, was abroad, Mark stepped in uh, ably and took over leadership for this event this year. Thank you very much, Mark here from Copenhagen, um, and your entire team. Very grateful to the production team, all the MDSF and apprentices who helped decorate this uh, tonight, and there are yet more surprises. Uh, thanks to the Shimanowskis, who provided our vehicle uh, connected to 19, uh, the 1940s in the United States. And in fact, that vehicle from right here in South Bend, that's where it was purchased. Uh, I love that story. Um, let's see. Also, I'd like to acknowledge and profoundly thankful to the staff of the Bartolo Performing Arts Center, especially Ashley Bennett. I've mentioned all of them, uh, of the staff on the uh, collection, but I've only got about two minutes, so I, I'm just going to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and let's see. Many, in fact, thank yous, uh, and I'm, I'm going to continue with gasket tape. Um, a sponsor of the NDSF for all of its 18 seasons consecutively, never missing a year. That is a feat. It is unusual in American theater for a sponsor to spend even more than five years with an organization, but for nearly two decades now, 
based on the Hill card, Gasket Tape uh, has been sponsoring the Notre Dame Shakespeare Festival. So to uh, not quite as long, but pretty close. Our friends in the Elkhart group at Stiefel, would you join me please in the second round of applause recognizing these folks and their support. <laughs> and finally, I'd like to recognize just four other people, uh, one of whom left our organization the very happy occurrence of becoming the executive director of the South Bend Civic Theater, Aaron Nichols. And <laughs> there he is. There he is. And jumping in to fill those very big shoes, Marlon Delion, right over here. Put that together with John Jackson, and most especially, Deb Gasper, where are you? Where are you? Woo! There she is, right over there. Uh, I, they really and truly are the dream team, and I could not be more proud to work with these folks each and every day. And so, with them in mind, and the cast and crew tonight of Much Ado About Nothing, which I know you're going to love, it's a ton of fun. Uh, would you please raise your glasses and toast this 18th season of the Notre Dame Shakespeare Festival, especially Marlon, Aaron, Scott, and Deb. Uh, thank you one and all. Cheers! Cheers. 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 I'd like to invite you to join us after the performance. Uh, we'll have a, 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 quite a surprise, I think, out here in, in the lobby, but also there will be swing dancing tonight, given the theme of this evening's show. There will be lessons for those of us for whom it is a little bit rusty. To do swing dancing. The swing dancing will be uh, located in the Regis Building Studio Theater, and we thought, how will we get them in there? What if they're shy? Will they really go into the theater? What? Well, folks, guess where the bar will be. <laughs> <laughs> that. On behalf of the artists, the actors, and staff, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy the show. Thanks very much. For